What's up guys, it's Wombat and I have run out of Baytubers to impersonate, so I'm gonna be using my own uncreative intro now. But anyways, this is a uh, Christ Satan, two glaive loop. You can see as I said when I meant it was McDonald's themed, it's got like the the red and yellow Christ Satan, the yellow glaive, and then the green loop that I got from uh, Base Samurai J. So um, let's take this said this this sad chicken apart this bad chicken and uh see what it does and up first is um whoa this is looking really weird in this lighting uh let me move this a little i don't mean to unplug it just there we go that's better now it looks kind of pink but anyways uh christ satan it's Got some pretty solid, like, raw defense, actually. I think it might have more defense than Gigant Gaia. But it's got less stamina, so it's not really usable because of that. There was one battle, and it's actually on my channel, where uh, King Lufa was using Stationary Legend Spriggan against, I want to say it was some really dumb Christ Satan combo. It was like Christ Satan, one Vortex Planet, or something like that. And he actually self-bursted against it just because Christ Satan is a defensive monster. And if it had been like Gigant Gaia or anything like less than Christ Satan, he probably would have shredded the kid. But either way, it's got some pretty good defense. Stamina is not too great, so it doesn't see a ton of use beside, outside of that. I believe Mr. Stubbs used it once in a Virginia tournament on Orbit, but... I could be mixing things up with something else. And then the disc is two glaive. Um, two is, it's an interesting disc. It's like not super top tier, not super known about. Uh, it works pretty well with cross just because of the way they're both shaped. Like these two points on two line up with the points on cross. And um, some pretty good synergy. I like using Sieg Excalibur 2 cross weight. It's my favorite Sieg Excalibur combo. But overall, that's apparently like it also works okay on Twin Nemesis. But I prefer 5 on Twin Nemesis if I'm going to go for that kind of attack combo. And then uh, the frame Glaive is arguably the best. Yeah, it, it's the best. Uh, core disc frame for life after death and left spin it's not too great in right spin because if you see these points here are facing the wrong direction so when it scrapes the ground it'll like catch on those as opposed to in left spin where it's kind of smooth so um things like polish is still better in left spin in well it, it Life after death is weird because it like depends on the way the driver falls over too. But in on atomic and destroy um glaive or er, glaive is worse than polish in terms of life after death, but it can be used with a core disc which will make it heavier than polish, which will make it harder to KO. So it's kind of a trade off for that. So Polish will like outspin Glaive and opposite spin, but Glaive will be harder to KO depending on what disc you use it with, which is usually going to be 4 or 7. Glaive works best with one of those. Uh, 2 works best with Cross. This may or may not be the cheapest way to get Glaive. Um, actually no, Blast Genius is cheaper. So if you need Glaive, then Blast Genius is probably the way to go for that. And then the driver loop. I haven't really gotten too much of a chance to test this yet. It seems to be like worse than defense from what I've seen though. Um, I was expecting some kind of life after death because I know in one of the battles at Anime North 2017, someone was using uh, Drain Fafnir Spread Revolve. I think it was Mitsu. And they were up against some kid with the stock Christ Satan, and like, Mitsu still won, but there were a lot more ties than there should have been. 
So I'm, I was thinking that Loop might have some life after death with these little wheels on the side. But maybe if it was like four wheels or one like giant conveyor belt type wheel along the whole thing maybe, but it's not actually that great because there's two of them that'll like, when it falls over it'll kind of like hop, which is not very good for that. Um, it's got a ball with like the same fins as defense though, so it's kind of like defense, well, it's a little worse than defense. But uh, overall, Cray Satan, uh, two glaive loop, um, I'd probably say skip over it. I know I did, um, which is why I don't have any of the original color parts. But the layer is good for defense if you're like super into that, but it's not too good stamina. It's uh, probably worse than Gigan Gaia, worse than Elter Kronos. Uh, the disc, you can get two from other stuff, I don't know what. Uh, two isn't really even like a necessary part, it's nice to have though. Glaive is kind of necessary, but it's cheaper from Blast Genius. And then Loop is, it's interesting, but probably not worth having, now that I've actually tested it out myself. So I think, in terms of like, Purchase wise, this is probably outclassed by Blast Genius because it's the cheapest way to get five is for the Blast Genius. You also get Glaive and you get like a like a, a semi decent Life After Death driver with that too. I think Guard is better than Loop for Life After Death, so it goes like Bearing, Destroy, Atomic, like Hold and Revolve, then Cycle and Guard. And then loop comes after that. So overall, I would skip over this one, honestly. So, up next, I think, is Blaze Ragnarok. And I'll see you guys then.